Hi everyone, today I have some really fun things to share with you from local King Rubber Stamp Company. Um, this is a company that I became familiar with when I would go to Scrapbook Expos and they just have beautiful artwork like their stamps and dies and just like super intricate, just different ways to play with them than your typical stamps and dies. And it was always just a pleasure. Whenever I go to the Scrapbook Expo, I was like, okay, I gotta stop by Local King. There were certain, you know, uh, vendors I wanted to stop in at because that's where I was getting them. And she is actually based in Canada. This is um, Lisa, um, is uh, the name of the owner. And just always really wonderful. Um, again, imagery, everything about their stamps. They make them in house. They are red rubber, you know, cling mount type of stamps. So, um, just everything about it is high quality, you know? And I, uh, whenever the pandemic had hit, um, I was like, you know, I wanna do some kind of outreach to some of the companies that I would try to go ahead and, um, you know, purchase from these scrapbook expos, especially because they weren't happening, right? And so um, I showed you some of the items then, and that was a lot of fun, and you know, just continue playing with them and things. A lot of you guys are like, oh, I've never seen this company, and super excited about it. So I really appreciate um, you guys watching and you know, hearing more about uh, Local King there. And now I actually have an affiliate relationship with them, which is really kind of Lisa to offer. So I'll have that link in the description box. It is the link to go straight to their site. Um, whatever I show you here, I'll just have the info, like the um, product number for you guys. And if you're interested, you can just kind of look it up when you get there but I just have that one link so it's a generic link so once you click it you go over there and that would be the affiliate relationship would uh, attach to that right uh, so thanks for using that if you can it's in the description box that means um, I'll make a small commission whenever you purchase items through those links so again it is one generic link and then I'll just have the product info um, for you guys in the description box uh, so today what I want to do is show you some of these new items that they did send for a review and these are um, they were sent free of charge and of course uh, all the pins are my own on those uh, I, I chose a few different things so let me separate these out really quick as far as like background stamps and things like that and we'll talk about them. so um, recently Lisa put out a video talking about some of her products um, how she you know gets her inspo or you know how they can come to be um, again you know she'll have a launch maybe every few months or every couple seasons of new items but she's always basically continuing the um her older items right because again like for her she says it's her artwork you know so artwork obviously doesn't expire or doesn't you know it's classic kind of thing so she's always coming up with new ideas of how to use you know even her stamps and dies from you know five six seven years ago whatever it might be so um definitely you know i'm going to link that video because she also talks about her magic mushrooms in that video and i think it's really important for people to hear that info and so i will link that i do have some more information about her magic mushrooms i have my magic mushrooms here um to show you if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about they are like blending uh, guys um, blending guys yeah <laughs> like little uh blending tools right and then of course they have the logo there what's really nice about these and I didn't do the best job but you basically can wash these off every time you use them and they look brand new right so for me a lot of times I kind of leave that on there uh, but even now if I was to wash this off it does come off the ink and then um, you can let them dry and they're good to go for the next time or just leave it on there like I said you know for me this is green for green so anything I use green I don't really care um, if there's old green on there it just adds to the artwork of it um, but you know they're they come in a set like this with their little cases and things and you know yellow yellow purples and purple and blue I wrote the names on them on some of them just because um, I can can see from the top real easily but if you have them like this you can also see the colors she also has um, a little holder for them but we'll talk about these in just a minute okay but like I said I'm gonna link a video that she recently did where she talks about these because there are some kind of copycats out there of hers and she talks about the material that hers is made up how they're not just makeup sponges and things that people have been saying like on other videos that kind of stuff but you guys can check that out and I'll give you some more info um, towards the end of the video so these are like her background stamps these are ones that I did not have in my uh, collection because I do have quite a few of them they are gorgeous they're basically for a4 size I don't know if you can see that there uh, one of the stamps that I, I use of hers that's just just always always I think it's the definition of love I want to say it's um well there's something like that it has like a whole just a lot of wording right and it's I just love it so um I use that one quite often but this one is similar where it has the little words in there like a love and you know it just has different like poetry kind of poetic words in there and this one has like the little dandelions I think it's really cute so this one's called love of life 
so cute and her a lot of her stamps are different because what it is it's more that you have the rubber and then other things are etched out of it like carved out of it so hopefully you can see that so when you stamp this area that you see white is going to be white or whatever the color of the paper is that's showing through you know so then she goes in and colors it in but you are basically inking up this whole area so it's a really really nice stamp this one's called tickles <laughs> with the uh, feathers so you can see they're like peacock feathers and again this one does have the wording in the background this was a little bit different from that one where this one you are inking up the words on this one you're inking up that whole kind of piece of rubber and the words are showing through because they're not inked i hope that makes sense they're not raised right here everything's cut away the lettering is raised and so are the um the feathers so that's just very artsy very different and you know just looking at the stamp you'll kind of have an idea um generally i think they might say on their website about what kind of stamp it is the living forest and this one just has all the little wood rings again some are you know where you're going to color it um you know do your inking and then other areas and I'll talk more about that in the other stamps because you'll see that more obvious um, this one's called flower garden again all this that you see black is where the ink is and the ink is not in those other areas so then she came in and kind of inked it up with like a blending brush and that's what you're seeing there or her her uh, magic mushroom should I say so there it is so you can see all this would be black where it's recessed obviously there's not going to be any uh, ink there until you put it there really really gorgeous and then she has things that are like very artsy um, I know whenever I introduced you guys to them uh, a couple years back, people were that had no idea who they were were like so excited because it's very different. It's beautiful. It's classic, timeless, you know, designs. So um, this one, um, you know, came out in 2021. Generally, she numbers things that way. So um, a couple years ago, and it's called "Don't Crane Your Neck." And I mean, look at the cranes. How beautiful the artwork is. And what you're looking at is basically when you see this. The rubber is all here, and then the areas are kind of etched away, right? So whatever's etched away is not going to have ink. So you can color these with her um, water-based markers. She has a couple different sets. She'll tell you herself you can use Crayola crayon, you know, markers, should I say, or any water-based marker. You just color, 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 wherever you think you'd want to. Give it a huff, and then go ahead and put that on your paper, and it's just going to be inked up already just colored from that right maybe from ink whatever is it you want to use so this one is don't crane your neck and there's also an available uh die and her die has to cut out the um the characters the little animals the different flowers and what i want you to notice is that her dies aren't just like super basic like this one has a little stitching here sometimes they have a piece cut away or like completely cut so you're supposed to kind of put up the little wing or feather or whatever piece of accent that might be um and then look even this like the little leg is cut away here so it's going to be very nice and delicate you know when you actually have your die cut i mean just she takes her time in creating these things you know uh, the embossed areas of course you run it through with the embossing looks awesome just a joy i'm telling you to work with and look at this guy puffy cheeks <laughs> and then she says she has a friend of hers that names all the different stamps so this one's puffy cheeks with a little squirrel and this um again you're coloring on here so like if you're using brown or black inks or brown and black you know um water-based markers maybe a little chestnut color here or whatever you know for the different little uh items the green uh, leaves and then you give it a huff you stamp it and then you have the gorgeous dye to help you cut it out and this one also has a background like shadow dye but also has a dye again like i said there's some areas where it's completely cut like in here you can kind of pop it up um i will definitely play with all these different sets uh possibly not today because obviously there's a lot of them and i'm talking about other things also <laughs> but um just keep an eye out so this one's garden of life um garden of the life it says and it has you know your uh jar and things like that and when i had mentioned earlier that um she makes her stamp so that it's obvious um what kind of stamp it is so d and i think s and um again I forgot what the D and the S stand for, but I'll figure it out. And if I do, I'll put it right here because what it is, I think it's detail and then like just like your basic stamp. Again, you are coloring this, right, with a water-based marker because you have all this surface. So in here, and she does color blending. It's so easy. They're so easy to work with. I'm probably going to link a couple of my videos in the description box just so you can go back and check those out because um, they're just... I, I can't say enough. I don't even know. <laughs> if you know, you know, right? Um, and then this one has a little sentiment. And then you have the die to cut out this whole area if you want. The jar has like uh, very shaker bowl uh, elements here if you want to do that. But you have a couple different dies. And then the little um, hummingbird and the butterfly also have their die. And so there you go. And again, this color comes from just using a water-based brush on there. Um, or 
marker should I say not a brush I know people will ask if you can use alcohol ink markers I don't think so because they dry and they stick I guess you can and then spray it with some alcohol but I don't know what kind of image you're gonna get at that point point. and then you have friends are the flowers in the garden of life um, all wrapped up this one has been one that I have just been eyeing look 2017 you guys and again it's just classic it's gorgeous it's called all wrapped up you have your little characters here but it even has a uh, handmade by that is so cute like you stamp that and then you have handmade by with the little characters that is adorable I never noticed that um, beautiful you know like orchid kind of flower here um, you have this one where the detail well see I would say details this one but anyway the kind of outline die and then the one that you would color in and then stamp so again it's all surface but the other areas are etched away and this one is all lines where everything else is cut away right and then you have dies to go with them just gorgeous again giving it some embossing wherever those flowers are like everything she just has such attention to detail um and so that one's all wrapped up this one is proud as a peacock gorgeous this one came out like around 2019 again the outer dye that inside dye that gives you all the different emboss feeling um if you're gonna rub it run it through again with a rubber embossing mat and again it's that kind of stamp where you're coloring the stamp and that's how you get your image and see that one has an S. So I, I, I you know, I, I have forgotten you guys. I have forgotten. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure then the S probably means about coloring it in. But I'll have that info there. Um, again, these beautiful, she has just so many designs like this where it's like a card front or like a card topper where you have that beautiful stamp. Again, you're coloring right on the stamp. You're doing your color blending around the stamp because literally if you're just going with a, with a marker and it looks amazing just like this, like... I'm telling you, <laughs> it's really fun. Um, and then we have uh, the uh, die to go with it. And again, just a little different texture and like stitching and all these different lines. Look at this little guy. This one's from 2021. It's the Love Nest and it's oh, so beautiful. I mean, the artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. And this one does have a D on there. And then we have it here. Um, I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I mean, I can't. It's the same, you know, kind of technique. Like I said, you're going to color on there with your water-based marker and then just stamp it. And then the dies and then, again, a little piece that you can kind of pop up to give it some texture. Like some of these leaves cut all around so you can pop them up. I mean, the petals, just super gorgeous. And then... Um, this one's called Feather Pleasure, and this one, I believe, had a die that went along with it, but not any longer, so it's just the stamp at this uh, time. So, um, again, this one came out in 2015. It's still gorgeous. It has, like, guinea hen feather type looking uh, feathers there. We have peacock feathers, just kind of like a... Um, oh, I love that! So this one's the Handmade by also, and then it just has a feather. I like that for like every day and then this beautiful like quill kind of feather and again you know um, you can just stamp it in black or color it in or maybe use some colored um, different colored markers and then do it that way right because these are kind of a combination of line and also like the flat surface so really gorgeous just kind of fun stamp to have and then skeleton leaves I love this for just stamping up some backgrounds I think it's gonna be really nice so I chose that and you know here you have maple leaf and you know different types of leaves here uh, maybe an oak leaf and then they have that really pretty delicate look to them so let's look at the um magic mushrooms uh and i have other videos on these guys so i'll try and link that if i recall um today i just kind of want to give you an intro to um local king if you haven't heard of them um lisa puts out youtube videos super artsy very easy that's her whole thing and that's why she designs her stamps the way she does just like literally you're just scribbling ink and i'm telling you it looks really good and um she'll she'll show you all kinds of stuff like that so you can check it out but um you know this is some info uh that comes along if you were to order the magic mushrooms and it just says you know the best blending tool for mixing and blending colors easily and you can rub tap or circle with the sponge head to achieve de the desired effect um, our custom made uh, magic mushrooms have a flatter top and harder foam that allows for smoother coverage and it I mean it does it has a resistance it's just very tight I don't know how to explain that you know where if you look at it like a makeup sponge since people want to compare it to that um, it has holes <laughs> like they're kind of soft this is like it's funny because when I went like this my camera is freaking out but uh, it's just really tight I don't know how to explain that the surface is like almost smooth feeling because it's so tight um, and that allows for smoother blending it says the product comes with 10 different color sponge heads and individual containers 
again to keep them nice and clean and store them. Um, you can use any dye based inks with the magic mushrooms and yes that's generally what she recommends. I mean if you're going to put glittery ink or pigment inks they're going to want to tend to go into the material. Um, so dye based inks you can wash them out and keep using them. Uh, they work best when they are moist. Dip the sponge part in water and squeeze out any excess water then pat and then pat dry the sponge. Um, and it says the size of the magic mushroom will double, indicating they're ready to use. Now that is a new tip for me because I don't remember that. I always always just use them, but at the same time, they're kind of in here. And if you washed it off from whenever you had last used it, it might stay a little bit moist. Um, but they're saying to go ahead and just moisten them up and squeeze it out, and then go ahead and use it. Uh, if the sponge is too wet, it won't pick up the ink. So if it's too dry, it won't blend the colors properly. And uh, yes, so that's uh, good tips. So again, just squeeze out really well. I would just test it and then go and work with them. Uh, clean the magic mushrooms with water, just like we talked about. Dip the sponge part in water and squeeze out the water. Repeat until it, the water is clean. And then dry with a cloth. I mean, just kind of squeeze it like this with a cloth so that they dry out. Um, and then it says in one to two days, they'll return to their original shape, which is basically what you're looking at right now because they're nice and dry right now. Um, you don't have to wash them after each use, right? <laughs> Which is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Um, but you just want to take care of them. And uh, to avoid leaving any pigment ink on the mushrooms as the sponge can become harder and damage the magic mushrooms. So it's not saying you can't use them with pigment inks. It's just saying as soon as you use them with pigment ink, wash it out, right? And Local King Rubber Stamp has created over 100 YouTube videos to demonstrate how to use the magic mushrooms effectively. And you can visit their YouTube channel. And like I said, I'll link... Um, uh, the video I was recently talking about how uh, Lisa's talking about her job as an artist, right? And um, how she kind of uh, runs her company, you know? So um, definitely checked out that video. I was really appreciative of that because, yeah. Um, yeah. And then, uh, and thank you for your purchase of the Local King rubber st uh, stamp uh, magic mushrooms. So, um, Again, you'll see these in action. I just wanted to say, you know, quick hello, let you know about the new affiliate relationship, and I will definitely be tutorializing these guys right here, having some artsy fun. And um, I have her markers. I have the smaller case. I have the large case um, that I picked up, um, you know, in the past, so I'll definitely use those. But like I said, you know, Lisa will tell you herself, you can use any water-based markers. She's not the type, and she'll tell you to say, you know, you have to buy now and buy it from her, like all those things. Like, she just has fun with her artwork and, um, that's just what she's always done. So really, I've always enjoyed um, talking with her like at the Scrapbook Expo. She's awesome at what she does. And I encourage you to check out her videos. And I'll have the link there for the affiliate uh, link to her uh, site, the local King Rubber Stamp site. And I mean, she just has tons of artwork, like if every genre you might think, you know. Um, super classic and so thanks for watching thank you so much lisa for um uh setting that up and you guys i will see you all at the next one very shortly bye now